Hi everyone, welcome to you all. So today in this video session, I am going to discuss about one of the testing technique of white box testing. So if you guys have remember in my white box testing videos, I have already told something white box testing technique like statement coverage, branch coverage, decision coverage, etc, etc. So in this video, in this today's video, I am going to discuss about one of that white box testing technique that is nothing but statement coverage testing technique. So first of all, we have to know that what do you mean by statement coverage? So statement coverage means I have written some, some notes for you guys so you can note it down. So what do you mean by statement coverage? So it's a type of white box testing technique and in statement coverage ensures that all the statements of the source code are executed at least once. Now question will arise in your mind that why we are using source code here. So if you guys have remember in my white box testing videos I told you that what do you mean by white box testing? In white box testing we have to check our internal code structure, our internal implementation. That means we have to check the code and who will be the responsible for that white box testing? Maybe the automation tester and the, and the developer when they are the unit testing by their own end. Okay, so automation tester can do the white box testing and the developer can do the white box testing because white box testing is based upon that code internal structure or code internal implementation. Okay. So that's why the definitions of white box testing says that it ensures that all the statement of the source code are executed at least once. Suppose we have written some of some of code, some of coding. So in that coding, we have to check all the statements that are executed at least once. So this is the important, I mean important part. That is at least once we have to test. Okay, so all the statements of the source code are ex executed at least once. And also the statement coverage covers all the path, lines and statements of a source code. How? I will discuss. No problem. With an example, I will discuss everything. So statement coverage covers all the path, paths, lines and statements of a software code or of a source code. So when we will use that statement coverage? So it is used to design test box cases where it will find out the total number of executed statements out of the total statement present in the code. So this line I will discuss by, I, I, I mean we will discuss by one example. So now just focus on that. There is one formula that we have to follow calculate the statement coverage. So what is the formula that we have to remember? The formula is what will be the statement coverage or how we can get the statement coverage value. So for that this is a formula. Statement coverage equals to number of executed statements. So how many uh, statements we are executing? We, are, we, are, we have executed. So that number, number of executed statements Divide by total number of statements in a source code. Multiply 100. So this is the formula. Statement coverage equals to number of executed statements plus uh, um, or uh, divide by total number of statements in source code. Multiply 100. Now let understand this thing by with one example. Okay. So now just for example. So this is one scenario. So in scenario says that, scenario says that, so these are the code, this is my source code that I am talking about here. So I, uh, if you guys have seen all this line, now just compare this thing with that example, okay. And we, we will get and we will calculate how to get the statement coverage here. Now the source code is, so this, these are my coding, these are my lines of code. So here we can see that seven lines of code are there. Okay. Now 
suppose print int a int b then int sum equals to a plus b if sum greater than 0 then print this is the positive result and if sum less than 0 or sum is not greater than 0 then this is a negative result so this is a simple example of coding okay now here if let's understand that a equals to 5 and b equals to 4 now if a equals to 5 b equals to 4 then what would be the sum value sum should be 5 plus 4 equals to 9 so here sum will be 9 sum will be 9 okay now if sum greater than 0 sum greater than 0 that means 9 greater than 0 we can say yes 9 is greater than 0 okay so 9 is greater than 0 that means print this is a positive result so if sum greater than 0 then it's a positive result now whenever the condition is applied successfully so this condition matches that means the i mean the control will go to the else part or it will break i mean that, uh, that, that means this is the result so no need to go for the negative result because we are already getting the correct result here sum greater than 0 yes now now just write the statement here so now what is the what how, how can we get the value so statement coverage statement coverage equals to now number of executed statements so here how many lines we are executing 1 2 3 4 and 5 so total how many lines we are executing total 5 lines so here 5 divide by now total number of statements in a source code that is 7 lines are there that is 7 then multiply 100 so if we calculate that 5 divided by 7 multiply 100 so let calculate that 5 divided by 7 then multiply 100 what is the result so 71.42 so we will just round figure it 71 71 percent so now this is the value we are getting okay so this this is the way how we do use that statement coverage or how we can calculate the statement coverage so it's a very simple formula statement coverage equals to how many numbers of executed statements divided by total number of statements in a source multiply 100 now in in our source code we can easily get that then we will calculate that and finally we can get the answer yes the statement coverage is 71 percent that clear okay now just take one another scenario for the negative result okay just take another scenario okay now scenario 2 same the source code is same so we are just changing the value here now just example we are taking the value a equals to minus 2 and b equals to minus 7 now so sum equals to minus 2 plus minus 2 plus minus 7 so what should be the value the value should be minus 9 right the value should be minus 9 now minus 9 is greater than 0 no so here minus 9 is greater than 0 no then it's no then control goes to that and the positive result no as sums greater than 0 that means minus 9 greater than 0 then control goes to that L statement now we can get that value so what will be the output for that this is a negative result 
what will be the out output? This is a negative result. Now, how to calculate that? So simple, very simple. Now calculate that. So what will be the what will be the statement coverage? The statement coverage is statement coverage will be the what is the formula? The formula is that number of executed statements. So what is the number of executed statements? So this line we are not executing. Apart from that, all are executing. So that means out of seven, this one is not executing because we are getting the negative result here because minus nine not greater than zero. Okay. So then what will be the number? So this is the total six. Six. Then divide by total number of statements. So seven lines are there. Number of seven. So this is the number of statement equals to seven. Then multiply hundred. Now calculate that six divided by seven. I am calculating this six divided by seven. Then multiply hundred. What will be the what will be the value? Eighty five. So the statement coverage will be the 85% the statement coverage will be the 85% now you guys are clear how statement coverage works okay now so what statement coverage covers so what we are covering for the statement coverage mainly what we are covering the date code the unused statement the unused branches and the missing statement. So we are covering all of these things. Dead code, unused branches, missing statement, unused statement. So we are covering all of these things. And now, why we are using this statement coverage? Or what is the advantage of statement coverage? So few advantages are there. Like to check the quality of code. Obviously, because if we follow that statement coverage in our real line, line scenarios or in our source code, then every line of code we are checking, right? Every line of code we are checking, then we can check the quality of the code. Okay, and we can give the uh, product to the customer with, I mean, very quality product. The quality product we can hand over to the customer. Okay, now. To determine the flow of different path of the program. If we follow that statement coverage, as we are checking every line of code, then we can determine that all the path of that code, all the path of the code, we can determine how it's work. Right? Then check whether the source code expected to perform is valid or not. Not. So when we are checking that, suppose let's say taking this that example so here a equals to 5 b equals to 4 total sum equals to 9 so 9 greater than 0 now in our scenario we are when we are checking 9 9 greater than 0 that means it's a positive result it's a positive result and in our case it's coming it's a negative result that means it's a wrong so whenever as whenever we are checking that uh, by using that statement coverage then we can easily identify every line of code. We can check every line of code. We can check every line of statement. We can check every line of paths. Right? So that's why to check whether the source code expected to perform is valid or not. And test the software internal coding and infrastructure. So as white box testing says that in white box testing, what should we do? We need to check our internal code, our internal implementation, our internal infrastructure. So that's why statement coverage is also taking the internal coding and infrastructure as well. Okay, so these are the useful of the statement coverage. These are the advantages of statement coverage. Now, what are the drawbacks? The drawback of the statement coverage? 
so we cannot check the false conditions we cannot check the false condition always we have to check the true condition if that is work then we can get that like that so we cannot check the false conditions and different input values to check all the conditions so like here one condition we are checking all with the positive value here one condition we are checking all with the negative values maybe another condition they are one positive value one negative value so like that so different input values to check all the conditions so that is time consuming because this is the only one structure of code and for that structure of code we are applying multiple values multiple values here some are positive some are negative so for the same source code as we are using multiple statement multiple conditions here that's why it's a time consuming it will take some time right so that's why different input values to check all the conditions and more than one test case may be required to cover all the path of coverage of 100 percent more than one test case may be required to cover all the paths of coverage of 100 percent so if we are using only one test case so maybe suppose we can see that so this is a this is one source code and to check this source code somewhere we are applying negative somewhere we are applying positive that means lots of test case we have to write lots of positive negative test case we have to write so if we write only the positive test case then we cannot get the 100 percent test coverage 100 percent get the test coverage then we have to write the 100 percent test case coverage that means we have to write 100 percent test cases all the positive and negative test cases so that's why the drawback says that more than one test case is needed to require to cover all the paths of a with a coverage of 100 percent only single one test case cannot cover 100 percent test case coverage so these are the drawback of statement coverage so mainly this is the logic this is the formula that we have to remember and this is one scenario that you can practice or in your case in, in your in your code okay but main formula is that how to get the statement coverage how we can calculate the statement coverage so this is the example and guys one important thing that many times interviewer will ask you that can you can you calculate one statement coverage so that time you have to remember that formula if you remember that formula then easily you can calculate that that for that purpose you have to remember that formula statement coverage equals to number of executed statements divided by total number of statements in a source code total multiply by 100 this is the formula that we have to remember so what is the statement coverage coverage definition so statement coverage ensure that all the statements of a source code are executed at least once okay so now you guys are very much clear about uh, what is the need for statement coverage and how how we can calculate the statement coverage okay i think this video will be very helpful to you if yes then one like please and share this channel to your nearest friends and subscribe to my channel edupet so see you in the next videos with the another uh, white box testing technique thank you